support the freedom of our local control and our school boards to make decisions that are in the best interest of our students and staff. Now on ABC 27 News at 11, school leaders react to Leon County Schools decision to pull out of an appeal over mask mandate bans in school. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. The appeal will continue without Leon County. ABC 27's Alexa Trishler breaks down what the school board and other stakeholders are saying. The lawsuit was so that they could have local control. Leon County Schools will no longer be a part of the multi-county appeal over a state mask mandate ban. This comes just days after they were ready to take on the Florida Department of Health and the emergency rule banning mask requirements in schools across the state. Tuesday, Superintendent Rocky Hanna says it's no longer prudent to take on a short-term legal remedy to find where the line is drawn between state and local rights. The governor said that, you know, Entities should do what's in the best interest of their communities. Our community did that. Um, and then at the same time, they were told that they couldn't. The Leon Classroom Teachers Association is standing by, keeping local freedom in government so the school board can protect student staff in the community. They were looking at the positivity rates, and it was always follow the science have local control so that we can follow the science. LCS school board member Alva Striplin took to Twitter on Tuesday, saying pursuing the legal route is a waste of taxpayer dollars and standing down is the only way to stop an endless fight. There's always a cost to litigation, but given that there's a group of school districts splitting the cost, it hasn't been that, that expensive. Attorney Jamie Cole is representing the appeal and says the case will continue without Leon County in the 4th District Court of Appeals with Miami-Dade, Alachua, Broward, and Duval counties. It's been you know, our pleasure to represent Leon, Leon County. It's been you know, great working with them. District spokesman Chris Petley says they'll be now focusing on getting back to business on running the school system. In Tallahassee, Alexa Trishler, ABC 27.